As you can see, while supposedly flying at 18,000 miles per hour, Gemini 9 abruptly stopped on a dime and then resumed flight and caught back up to the ATDA all within a few seconds. As we can see, the spacecraft go from 18,000 miles an hour, as we're about to see as it comes loops back round, apply a brake, stop dead, allow the other spacecraft to catch up, and then go from zero to 18,000 miles an hour straight off the bat. Look at that. Level Earth Observer, and to be conspiracy, please watch this video because it's a very short one, but you will learn a ton. Yesterday I was walking over this slab of concrete, and suddenly this happens. And a few moments later, again this. What is actually going on here? Let's watch it again. So I'm walking, and then my movement seems to stop, and then suddenly it resumes. Question is, did I really stop? Let's focus on that middle section there. If we go back and forth, back and forth, what we see is that there is a shift in perspective. This clearly means that the camera was not just still. I didn't stop, I continued walking. When I zoom out a bit, this becomes more clear, of course, because my feet suddenly appear in frame. So first they are not visible, then they slide into view, and then they remain into view in relation to the center of frame. And if we stabilize this middle section over here, we see again this shift in perspective. When we compare this with that moment from the uh, Gemini 9 footage, we can see that also over here we see the same effect. You can even see that the clouds have some height. And we can of course see that target object here move into frame. This means that there was a camera that was actually moving. It wasn't stationary. This spacecraft didn't stop mid-flight and then resumed. This was simply a spacecraft that is reorientating itself to align itself with this object using its uh, reaction control thrusters. And with that, you can actually just go to your own video, press delete and save everybody some lies. Take care. Bye-bye.